Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity Let's Play. Um, I think I'm actually going to make a... Uh, uh, I'm going to hire a uh, rogue. I'm not going to have him in my party, but I just want to make a rogue and have him at my stronghold for... I don't know, whatever. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a rogue, and there's actually a lack of females in our party lately, or just in our roster. So we're gonna make a female rogue. Um, human or elf? That is the question. I think we'll go with human. Metal folk, metal folk and rogue. Go with, uh, hobbled. Serity is reduced, movement is reduced, reflex is reduced, blindings. What is blind to do? Accuracy is reduced, perception is reduced, movement is reduced. Flex and deflection are reduced. Okay, we're gonna take that, because that seems to do more. Um obviously we want high dexterity. Uh Constitution is gonna be on the lower side. Reduce the resolve by one. We're gonna increase her might. It's not gonna be that high though. Uh perception. Yeah, we'll have high perception as well. Cool. Okay. Dead fire. Archipelago. Metal planes. Or. Oh, living lands. And higher might, so it'd be a little bit more even across the board. Eh. I like the dead fire. Because they have dual wield and they have a saber. So I like that as a rogue. It makes him look cool. Alright. Um, just a mercenary, I guess. Primary. Well, she'll be... She'll wear, like, purple. Uh, that's kind of silly at the bottom there. We'll do white down there. Yeah, that looks cool. Skin, a bit brighter. Hair. A bit darker. That looks cool. Head. Dude. I like two the best, I think. Uh, I always like that hairstyle. And... Not many great uh, female portraits for human females. It sucks. There's a couple that are okay, but otherwise, they're not that amazing. This one's probably the most accurate. Eh, yeah, whatever. Eh? I've got this. All right, feisty. I uh, will name her Claire. Cause that's a nice name that I like, and I think that's it. And then we'll just probably. Oh, I have to reset my watch. I can't believe I kept it going. Uh, we're not gonna recruit her. She's just gonna stay in the roster until uh, I need her or something like that. Anyway, so we're going to continue on to, uh, what's it called? Oh, Veilwood? We're, yeah, we're going to go to Veilwood and then go kill the uh, War Chief if he's over there. Hopefully he is. Uh, right. Oh, wait a second. Got to get that stuff. Pilgrim's Crown, excellent. That is uh, very useful. It's funny that you can go back here. I don't know why you would. Maybe there's something about it in the end of the game, or... Well, you never know. It'd be interesting if we did have to go all the way back there. At the end. I wonder if, we, now that we know the language, the Anglican language, if we can go there and actually like do something with that thing. That would be interesting. I don't think so. Oh, hey, we can actually uh, go up this thing now because I bet we have more athletics. Pretty sure that'll help. Alright. Scale the wall. Climb up yourself. The first to drop back down. Oh, scale the wall. Uh, can you do it? 
There, Athletics 5. Oh, Sylvano's gloves. Cool, some reflex. That was worth it already. What's this? Scrub letter. I do not think you will ever see this, but you were right, Fulvano. We should have journeyed south together and been safer for it. I would tolerate all the gloating in the world if I might live to hear it. I have put myself out of reach of the beasts circling below, but I am done for all the same. I do not think I will rise again. Whoever finds this, pray for me. Perhaps in the next life I shall be a trapper of wolves. <laughs> and uh, leather armor. And some camping supplies. Excellent. Oh, some stuff right there. Blood moss and whatever this is. More stuff. What is it? I'll take care of it. I'll just, uh, just climb down. Cool. And camp, bear cave. Is there a way up here? Oh no, that's all just the waterfall. I wonder if this band camp has anything in here now. No. Cutest cat. I wonder if we... No, there's no way to go that way. Oh, there is a way to go this way. But there's nothing over that way, so... You know, what's the point of that? Hmm, okay. Nothing over that way. Are we, uh... Taken to roaming the Veilwood. Alright, so I guess we have to assume that he is. Maybe he's up here. No, doesn't look like it. This map is not particularly big. Maybe he's up this way somehow. Nope, can't go that way. Is he, uh... Over here then? Maybe roaming as in... I have to like, uh, spread out. That would be very annoying. Oh, there he is. And that's a drake. Oh boy. I wonder if we're actually... That's two... Three drakes. Oh... Cool. Um... On your word. We're on chant three, aren't we? That's chant four. Chant three, please. Of course. There we go. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. And they're just getting all of our triggers. I'm done. Just turn around and do this. Yeah. Now she's down. Okay. I'll take care of it. Okay, this bridge will be a good uh, vantage point, I think. Okay, Aloth, can you uh, confuse them back there, maybe? Hmm? Durance? Uh, what is this? Prayer against bewilderment. Confused or dazed? No, I don't think I really need to worry about that. Devotions for the faithful? Accuracy in my bonuses while enemies... Okay, that's not a very big AoE. Death's door prevents really worried characters. Health from reaching zero when it results in the death of the character. The character can still be knocked out through endurance loss. When ally in there delivers a killing blow, here she regains endurance. Meh. Okay, we'll do this one, I think. Actually, we'll just do this one, because it's lower level or whatever. Following your lead. Okay, we'll do this one now. And we'll summon a wraith to help. So much for you. What? Let's get up here and make this circle. 
Oh man, we actually turned mm -hmm. the Drake. Now you get back here for the, for the time being. Oh, that's the uh, thing. What's this? Oh, it's the Grieving Mother, right? Sarp Champion. Somehow I charmed yeah. that thing. What? Okay, uh, let's give us the barrier here. Yes. These drakes are. What the heck? Where are all these champions coming from? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's just kill the highest what is it? drake first. Okay, we'll suck away its deflection. And let's give us. Let's give. Wait, where's that? Wait, that's not what we wanted. Yeah, we want this one, right? Yeah. More critical hits, please. Okay. And. Put a searing, shielding thing down hmm? here. See if we can knock that thing over. Well. Uh, I'm going to Whisper of Treason on the Young Drake, see if that'll actually Hi. do anything. You can expose their vulnerabilities. On your word. Low Endurance Phantom. Alright, we'll summon another one right there. Oh, that's not what we wanted, but okay. Come right there. Hey. Okay. What is it? Uh, let's see if we can get Adra Beetle right there. Hi. Uh, confusion right there. Oh, that's why they were all like allied. So we're gonna confuse them again. Okay, that gave us quite a few more allies. Um, let's give. Let's make them all slip over there. Hmm? Okay, we've got the Adra Beetle and the Drake's on our side for some reason. We're gonna attack it still, though. Kill the Zarp Champion. That's not very helpful. Kill the Drake if we can. Even though it's on our side, that just makes us not attack it. Yeah, we got him. Let's get the High Priest thing. What? Uh, we haven't actually used this yet. We'll do that. Let's see if we can put another thingy right there. That attribute is doing its job. On your word. We've lost our phantom thingy again, so we're gonna summon another one. There we go. Curse your eyes! Oh hey, we have this with the Adrobeetle, we can actually control it. I'm gonna use that then. Zappy, zappy, zappy! Hey, crap, get out of the way, buddy. All right, then. Dang, now that you did it. Come on, get him. This young Drake is badly injured. Stand still. Okay, well, there goes the Hydra Beetle. That's okay. This thing isn't doing the job. Hey. So that's the war chief right there. Hmm? Let's see if we can knock them all backwards. I know I'm gonna try. Got a lot of the uh... I'm try using hmm? the lance. Which I think well, hurts him, but you know, whatever. Hey. Knock him down. Hi? You can try to uh, downing missiles him. Following your lead. What? And you try to go sunburn them. <laughs> and go put it down in one of these <laughs> things. A light. Stand still. Bring them down. Yeah, we got him. That was a tough fight. But uh, we did it because confusion is absurdly strong. 
Excellent. Sharp car staffs, more sharp tongues, and whatnot. And here's his uh, every worm figurine. Summon two worms. Ooh. More summons. I always like that. There's the war chief's head. That's everything. As you wish. I'll Excellent. Take care of it. That's cool. Uh, what's the new thing here? Major adventure completed. Obvious. Returns to the stronghold with money and a lot of experience. Excellent. Alright. That makes me quite happy. Uh, back to Cadnua. It'll take a day and eight hours to get there, but that's okay. We can return all of our bounties. And wait for loading screens. And recognize our existence in the universe. I'd and say it's time to get a campfire going and let's sleep. Yeah, yeah. Animancer has arrived requesting a prisoner conduct experiments on. Um. I don't know. Willing to pay? Nah, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna go talk to him later on. Well, now that we've killed like three drakes like that, I think we can go take the one uh, in the Cadnua. So we'll have to go try to do that. How do you do? Okay, War Chief is dead. That ought to make the veil load a little safer. Here's your reward. Anything else? He's dead. Good work. They'll be celebrating a new Hemar soon enough. Here's the bounty. And I took down the dweller. To the reef of the merchants, I'm sure. Here's the coin they were offering. So how much money does that make us? Holy crap! That's a lot! Oh wow, we actually lost a lot to bandits here. Major adventure. 15% experience. Expires in three days. He's busy. We'll let her go. Okay. What's this? Nothing new to report, nothing new to report, nothing new to report, nothing new to report. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so whenever you, like, finish a quest, that's a new turn, I guess. Okay. How much... Six hours, so if we go rest, that'll be finished. Cool. And Animanster wants to <laughs> test uh, one of my prisoners. Well, I don't think I actually condone that. At least it depends on what kind of experiment. I don't think, as a philosopher, uh, Abattoir doesn't really condone experimenting on other people, no matter what they've really done. It's just not ethical. Everyone's walking in a weird animation, like, look at him! Like, do you see his walking animation? Like, what is that? Do 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 Oh, I see that? Now he's doing it normal. Yes. No, he's walking like that. Like, what the crap? Why is he walking? Oh right, we've got these gloves now. So I have reflex. What do these give me? One perception. I'm gonna keep that then. You could have the reflex gloves, buddy. And I'm gonna use that. Yes. Yes. What dictates that I should walk instead of run? I don't get it. Craft hall forum. The chapel's done. Let's go take a look. The 
Level of difficulty influences what creatures and how many appear in combat. Yeah, we have seen this tip many times, just like every other tip in the game. <sighs> Chapel Priest. May the gods guide and protect all who seek their blessing. Hail, Traveler! Greetings, my lord. I thank you for restoring our chapel to its former glory. I am certain the gods look favorably, favorably upon you. I have gathered what scrolls I could find. Perhaps they can be of use to you in your travels. Scroll of Valor, Scroll of Paralysis. Ooh, yes. I love this spell because it worked so nicely. Okay. I'm gonna keep that. Holy cow, that's worth a lot. Alright. Look at all the stuff we've got. Let's watch it all disappear. More stuff that we don't even need. Do I want to sell that though? Sure. I don't think I really want to. I think we'll keep it just in case. The rest of this though, that can go. Look at all these hoods and capes and coifs and whatever. That can all go. Potions that I don't really need. Luxon. Oil. Don't really care for this stuff. Actually. No, we'll actually keep it all just... I don't, I don't even know why, but we'll just keep it just in case there's something like... I don't know, quest-related things I could have it for, or something like that. I don't know. I know I don't need these hides and stuff. Um, okay. No, I've got so much gold. Oh, he sold Duke accidentally. Uh, I want that for my uh, person. That sucks, I didn't mean to sell that. It's not like we don't have the money to get it back, though. Alright, get rid of all this junk. Okay. Um, Maybe she could actually use it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What do we... Okay, you can use that. I don't understand why everyone seems to be moving so slowly. Am I, like, in stealth mode accidentally, or is that, like, a bug, or... I'm not really sure. Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't persist. I don't like moving slowly. I would much rather move fast. Nice and quiet. So now everyone's doing the animation. And look, I'm actually walking faster than everyone else. He's moving absurdly slow. I wonder if that has to do with how much our sneak stealth is at. This is more than mine. This is much higher than mine. She's still moving well, absurdly slow. As you wish. Maybe the less sneak you have, the slower you go? Why would I be moving faster? Um, I have no idea. Doesn't make any sense to me. Following your lead. Yeah, they just seem to be running slower too. Are they like, encumbered by anything or something? Or, ah, I don't understand. What is it? I don't understand why they're moving slowly. Can't be this. Of course. Maybe it is that. Light. Maybe it's because I'm wearing the lightest armor. If I take off his armor completely, does that make any difference? On your word. Nice and quiet. No, it doesn't. That's very odd. Yes. Don't really like that. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm gonna assume that it is the bug. Okay then. Food items cannot be used in combat, but blah 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 blah, we already know. And we're at about the 22 minute mark or so. 
Run faster. Indeed. Uh, have to deal with her. Let's quick save. It's good to meet someone more tolerant of the sciences. Uh, what is it? That's it. Got to deal with her here. Set money for what? Let me go talk to him. Maybe he actually has something to say. If not, that will be the end of the episode, and we'll probably go try to kill the Drake in the next one. Although I might take a break from this play session and do something else, like play Dota or whatever. I haven't actually played Dota in a while, ever since this game came out. Hail and well met. Greetings, my lord. Come to visit the dungeons. Do you have any instructions for me? What do you want done with these prisoners? I'm flogged regularly. Don't need anything at the moment. Where is... What's his face? Ah, oh, there he is. Will you leave me to rot in here? Let me free, you'll profit by it. Well, of course. Hmm. Well, maybe he will let the uh, Animancer let her do experiments on it. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Or how I get her to let her do her thing. I suppose you don't hear that sound, that voice. Never mind then. This scenery is proving far more conductive to my experiments. What? I don't understand. I trust. What is the state of the keep? Word of Cadno is spread far and wide. I expect we'll be receiving visitors from every corner of the world soon. So I can't tell you how wonderful it is seeing this place restored to the region. Thank you, my lord. Blah blah blah. I've kept it too long. I'll give you my report. This will finish soon. I'll probably be back. She's on an adventure. She'll be finished on turn whatever. Accept money as in he'll pay me, or accept money as in the the uh, she wants to do her thing. Uh, I'm not really sure how to handle that. Where does it say? Requesting a prisoner to conduct experiments on. Well, I'm going to quick save, and I'm just going to try... Uh, well, he says we're going to profit from it, so I'm going to uh, imagine that means... Accept money. Release. I have no idea what that did. Did that release him just because, or... I don't know. We're gonna okay. We're gonna try to accept money because I don't. I'm not gonna release him for free, obviously. Which that seemed to imply. I don't really understand. That's not very clear on what it's trying to do, and I'm not really sure how to let her do her experiments. Come on, Obsidian, you're better than this. I know you are. Okay. Accept money. I'll take care of it. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, I think that'll be the end of this episode, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Come on, finish loading. Then you'll see me next time. When it's finished loading, you will see me next time. No, not really. But yeah, you will. Yeah, here I am. This is next time. Welcome back. No, I'm kidding. Goodbye.